Hey gang, what's going on? Uh, so we have news from the Yankees. Uh, it's been confirmed all over. It was broken out earlier, but I didn't get a chance to put a video out on it, so I'm doing it now. But before I get into that, if you like this kind of content, Yankees or baseball, please hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons because it's gratefully appreciated. Very helpful for the channel. I don't want you guys to miss out on a single thing that I put out throughout the off season. So. The Yankees have agreed to a contract with 30-year-old infielder, uh, Wilmer Defoe. So, <clears throat> two things that are going to happen are, or actually not two things, I should say. Uh, so, what it sounds like is someone's getting traded. Um, but I don't think it's just going to be one trade. I think it's going to be two trades. So, I think... <clears throat> First trade is, uh, is going to be for a relief pitcher, whether it be a David Bednar or a Gregory Soto. Um, <clears throat> the other one is going to be for Brian Reynolds. Now, here's the, the, the catch to this. Could the Brian Reynolds trade now be increased to having David Bednar in it as well. Now that we have signed Wilmer Defoe. That is a strong possibility. Um, I think it's now more likely that if the Yankees do try to get Reynolds. They're going to ask for Bednar as well. And if they can't get Bednar they're going to pivot. And they're going to pivot over to Detroit. And try and get Detroit's Gregory Soto. So I think that. Those are the two options that they have right now for um, relievers. But the Brian Reynolds thing, at the end of the day, the Yankees will get Brian Reynolds. So, but now whether or not they ask for Bednar on top of Reynolds is a whole different story. But because of Wilmer Defoe, I think that there's something big, bigger now cooking in the uh, in Yankees van, uh, Yankees land. Uh, Yank the Yankees, I think, are now preparing to answer back what the Mets have done, and I think they're getting ready to bolster that bullpen some more, as well as getting Brian Reynolds. So I think that at the end of the day, Brian Reynolds will be here, and so will a top-notch reliever. Now, whether the other option, Andres Munoz is still in play, I don't know. He could very well be. But we'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, that is a strong possibility now. If, you know, the Mariners would want to take on a contract like a Glaber Torres, or if the Tigers would want to give up Soto and maybe get a little bit more like Glaber Torres and a prospect or something. We don't know. It's all, you know, up in the air. But I have a feeling now that Wilmer Defoe is now in the fold, there will be a big trade coming. Possibly too. So stay tuned for that. If I hear about anything else on this Brian Reynolds thing, I will keep you all updated and informed. Because I want you guys to not miss out on a single thing that I put out throughout this offseason. It's been a crazy one so far. And I really think that it's been an interesting one and a really fun one to watch. So please flood the comments section below. Let me know what you guys think. I love getting into it with you guys. And I love talking to you guys about this stuff. So please flood the comment section below. Hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon uh, buttons. And uh, until next time, I hope you guys enjoy your, your Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year, Hanukkah, whatever uh, uh, holiday you guys celebrate. Do enjoy. Have a safe and happy New Year. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Over and out.